Hey friends, it's me, Pastor Doug, with another word of encouragement for the day for today, Tuesday, October 12th. And today's word comes out of the book of Jonah, chapter 4, verse 2. But before I read it to you, I want to sort of set it up with some context. If you happened to join us on Sunday, you know that we are doing a deep dive into a particular passage in Scripture out of Exodus chapter 34, verses 6 and 7, where God actually introduces himself, describes his character, and tells us, who he is and what he's like. In fact, if uh, you don't remember, let me read it to you. God says this, Yahweh, Yahweh, the compassionate and gracious God, slow to anger, abounding in love and faithfulness, maintaining love to thousands and forgiving wickedness, rebellion, and sin. Okay, let's stop there. So that's part of what we read on Sunday and part of what we're studying uh, over the next few weeks. But that passage out of Exodus chapter 34, verses 6 and 7, where God reveals himself, actually shows up in hints and echoes and allusions all throughout the Bible. In fact, many scholars believe that that passage is the most quoted passage in the Bible in the Bible. In other words, more biblical authors quote that passage in their writings than any other passage. And one of the places that this passage shows up is in Jonah chapter 4 verse 2. Now just before I read it, let me remind you of Jonah's story. Remember that Jonah was a prophet and God told Jonah to go to Nineveh. Now Nineveh was the capital city of the Assyrian Empire, the mortal enemies of the nation of Israel. So you can understand why Jonah didn't want to go. He didn't want to go and preach to the Ninevites. One, he was probably scared. And two, he probably didn't want them to repent. He probably didn't want them to turn away from their sin. He wanted God to punish them. In fact, we see this in the story. So you know the story, right? Jonah splits. He goes the opposite direction. Nineveh is east. He goes west. He ends up in a boat. There's a big storm. Uh, The guys in the boat throw him overboard. He spends three nights in the belly of a fish, gets spit up onto the shore, and then goes to Nineveh and preaches a five-word sermon. In Hebrew, it's literally five words. And he preaches to them and tells them that Nineveh is going to be overthrown. Now, this causes the king of Nineveh and all the Ninevites to repent, to turn from their sin and turn towards God. And guess what? Jonah is mad. He's actually mad that these men and women and children are turning from their sin and turning towards God. Why? Because he wants to see them pay for their sin. He wants to see the mortal enemies of the nation of Israel go down under God's judgment. And so he's mad at God from being compassionate and gracious. In fact, he prays to God and he complains to God and he quotes Exodus 34, almost as if he's telling God, God, you're too nice. Listen to what he says. He says, isn't this what I said, Lord, when I was still at home? This is why I tried to forestall by fleeing to Tarshish. I knew that you were a gracious and compassionate God. Did you hear that? I knew that you were abounding in love. There's another another reference. I knew that you were a God who relents from sending calamity. In fact, Jonah is so mad that God relented from his judgment that Jonah actually asks God to just put him to death. He said, God, it'd be better if I just go ahead and die. Isn't that crazy that Jonah complains to God for being too compassionate and too gracious? To be too, that he complains to him for being too slow to anger, that, that, that he complains to God for abounding in love. Friends, the very characteristics that Jonah complains about because he wanted to see God's judgment on the Ninevites are the very characteristics that you and I get to celebrate about this beautiful, phenomenal, wonderful creator God that is slow to anger, that is abounding in love, that is gracious and compassionate. Friends, this is the God that we serve. Have a great day, and we'll see you tomorrow.